Hi everyone, welcome to the course titled Building Springboard Timelip Real-Time Web Application. Well, in this course, we are going to use a real-time approach to build a complete blog web application. Well, in this course, we are going to build a complete blog application line by line coding and we are going to use the latest version of Spring Boot that is Spring Boot 3 and latest version of Timelip that is Timelip 3. Alright, so we are going to use a latest version of all the tools and technologies in this course. Hi, let me introduce myself. My name is Ramesh and I have been working in IT industry for 10 years now and I have worked on bunch of technologies like I have worked on Java, Spring, Spring Boot, Hibernate and at a front end I have worked on React, Angular, Vue.js and I have also experience on building distributed applications using microservices. Well, I am a founder and author of one of the well-known Java blog website that is javaguides.net. I am a YouTuber at Java Guides. It has around 80,000 subscribers. Alright, so this is my quick introduction. Well, let's take a look into what we are going to build in this course. We are going to build blog web application. And if you look at here, this is a user interface of our blog application. So this is basically a home page. It contains a list of blog posts. And any user can able to access this home page of our blog application. And any user can read the blog post on our blog application. For example, if user want to read a particular blog post then user can click on the link over here and user can navigate to that particular blog post and if you can look at here the blog post page looks like this if user want to add a comment to this blog post then user can use this comment section to add a comment to this particular blog post for example in a enter name section we can add a, a name something like ramesh and then email ramesh at the gmail.com and let's add a name, comment something like nice blog post something like that Alright, so we are going to build a blog post page like this and we are going to add a comment section in this blog post like this so that a user can able to add a comment to the particular blog post. Next, if user want to search a particular blog post, then user can use this blog search option over here. For example, if I search with the keyword Java, then this will list out only the blog post. It contains Java keyword. Okay, so we are going to build this blog search functionality as well. Next, we are going to allow guest user to write a blog post on our blog application. For example, let's say if guest user want to write a blog post for our blog application, then guest user should have to register to our blog application first. And here, we'll provide a register link to register to our blog application. For example, guest user can click on this register link to navigate to the registration page. And from here, guest user can register to our blog application. For example, post name, let's say guest, last name, let's say guest and email id let's say guest at the rate gmail.com and password let's give guest and click on register now the guest user successfully registered to our blog application next once guest user registered to our blog application next guest user can use this login here option to navigate to the login page and from here guest user can log into our blog application for example guest at the rate gmail.com is the registered email id and guest is the password now guest user is successfully logged into admin side of our blog application. Next guest user can use this new post option to create a new blog post. For example, let me quickly create a, a blog post. Let me give a title something like oops principles as a title and let me give a short description and let me give the content. So let me quickly copy this content up to here and let me paste in a content section so if you can notice here we are going to use a ck editor okay we are going to use open source ck editor for writing the content for this blog post notice here as soon as guest user created a new blog post that blog post is listed in this table and guest user can edit the blog post delete the blog post or view the blog post for example let's say if guest user want to view the blog post then guest user can use this view option to view the blog post basically we are going to allow guest user to create a new blog post edit the blog post delete the blog post and view the blog post apart from that we will also allow guest user to see the list of comments on his created blog post and guest user can also delete the comments on his created blog post for example guest user can use this logout option to log out from the blog application and here you can see guest user created blog post and let me add one comment let's say umesh and umesh at the gmail.com and let's say inform me to post something like this 
all right and let's log in with the guest user again so let me quickly log in with the guest user and go to comment section and if you can able to see here the guest user can see the list of comments on his created blog post okay so we'll allow guest user to view the list of comments on his created blog post and guest user can also delete the comment if he don't want to keep comments on his blog post okay so these are the admin side features that we are going to implement in this course and we have one more user that is admin user so admin user basically have access to all the features in our blog application for example let me quickly log in with the admin user and admin user can able to view all the blog posts created by all the guest users in our blog application and admin user have a rights to view the blog post of all the guest users and admin user have a rights to edit the blog post delete the blog post view the blog post and admin user also have option to delete the comments of all the blog posts of all the guest users okay so basically admin user have all the rights in our blog application okay so these are the functionality we are going to implement in this course and we are going to use three users guest user admin user and the blog reader user okay we are going to use three kinds of users in this blog application well as of now i am going to teach you how to build all these features in this blog application but in future we will add some more features to this blog application for example we can add user management feature we can add post category feature okay so as of now in this course i am going to teach you how to build all these features in this course okay well this course is going to be a project development course it means i am going to teach you how to build a blog web application line by line coding in intelligent idea all right great i will see you in the course